Hey guys, welcome to a uh, live edition for today. I uh, just want to let you guys know that there's also an audiobook recording right now for SoundCloud. So, um, yeah, I just figured, you know, I would start throwing some stuff up on SoundCloud of, you know, my live hangouts or whatever. So, anyways, um, today's show, we're going to be concentrating on the ZTE Max after its KitKat update. Now, some of you guys may not have got the update um, right now, and that's just because, like I said, in prior videos, they're releasing it in batches. And uh, so it just depends on the DEC number, and um, you guys should get the OTA update push. So I uh, want to talk about a couple of things you can expect with the KitKat update. And so you guys pretty much know what you guys are getting into um, and how it greatly affects the change of the phone. So uh, one of the things that I'll point out, the obvious, is uh, the changes that was made, you know, with the, the whole white um, icons on the uh, status bar. It changes from the hollow blue to now it's white. So... Uh, but that's like a noticeable change. And just so that you guys know really quick, I have the HTC uh, Blink Feed launcher on here. So this is not the stock launcher. I'm running the, uh, the uh, Blink Feed launcher because it actually runs super smooth on the Max. And it just looks, it downright looks great. So a um, couple of things you'll notice is like the icons weren't changed very much. Let me show you guys the camera icon. And uh, you guys can compare it to like the warp sync or the the speed for ZTE. But you guys notice the camera is pretty much stock. It's pretty much the same, and uh, it has not changed. So that's you know one of the things that has not changed. A couple of other things haven't changed as well. Um, kind of look at it real quick. The um, I guess you could say like in settings, the settings icon hasn't changed very much either. So I'll point that out right now. So you guys can see their settings right there. And uh, yeah, it has not changed at all. So um, those might, I mean, I don't know. To me, when, when certain things aren't changed, like when you look at um, other GTE devices that have KitKat and the way that they look, if uh, you know if if they update another one to KitKat and they don't go as far as to uh, updating you know like the look and feel of it you know just to me it just seems like they didn't spend enough time or they just wanted to hurry and get get like a, an update pushed out so I kind of frown upon that but it's not really a big deal it's not something that's going to deter you from wanting to accept the update obviously you're getting update to KitKat so uh, that's like the beneficial part. Now, I was asked a question when I um, talked about it, and that was why did I the ZTE Max right after I updated it, which I did a force update. I used uh, the update zip and forced it through stock recovery. Now, the reason why I chose to root it, you know, it's not that it's a bad update or anything like that. Um, a lot of people, and this is not just with ZTE, this is just with Android in general, but a lot of people can pretty much contest to this, that one of the biggest uh, upsets with KitKat is the fact that they removed the ability to write information to the external SD card. And, of course, everyone likes using an, an external SD, especially if you have a device with very low storage. Uh, it makes it you know, hard to move apps over or move data over to an external source to kind of free up internal storage. And so that's like the main reason why I had to root the ZTE Max. If you know you're somebody who relies more on cloud storage, then it's not going to be a big deal for you guys. But uh, for me, I I gotta have my external SD, you know, working fully 100% on my device. You know, I have a lot of information on there that I need access to, whether it's applications that, you know, I'll be honest, that I've downloaded from Blackmart Alpha. Uh, I need those to get pushed over, and uh, with without the ability to to um, 
write from the SD card over, you know, it's, you know, it's a hassle. So that's the ultimate reason why. And I figured since the root method that I use would give you um, a custom recovery, might as well throw that in there, right? So that's why I have Phil's Touch Recovery. Uh, a couple things you can do is, you know, if you don't like the camera app, you can use the Google camera. And one thing I can tell you about the Google camera is that it does enhance um, your pictures as far as what you take. I've tested it out all across devices that have KitKat that are in my possession right now. And uh, when you use a stock camera and you say you don't like it, you know, uh, for some reason with the Google camera, it just it really does enhance how the, how the photos look. It enhances how videos are recorded and taken. And so that's one of the things that I had to throw up on here was the Google camera. Um, even uh, without any uh, custom launcher on here, just using the basic stock launcher, there's no lag. So if that's like one thing that people are very worried about when it comes to the ZTE Max is that uh, with the KitKat update, is there any lag? No, there's not any lag. And um, I mean, I wouldn't say that I have a lot of applications on here, but I would say that I have uh, quite a few that are pretty large in scale. So I'll show you guys what apps I have. And you guys can take a look. And that's pretty much it all the way to the bottom. Um, like I said, not a lot of apps, but some, some heavy ones. Facebook being a very heavy application on there. Um, and I think I have like like one game, which is like Candy Crush Soda Saga. I also have um, a few emulators. I have a Super, Nin Super Nintendo emulator and a Sega Genesis emulator. So I've been playing games on there. And it's like absolutely wonderful to play you know, games on a tablet. I mean... I'm still going to buy like a Bluetooth controller for it. Uh, so I can just hook the, my phone on the bracket and just kind of use it like a handheld. But um, yeah, with the update, there's no lag whatsoever. I haven't experienced any lag. Um, I don't know if other people out there have experienced some lag or not, but uh, I haven't at all whatsoever. I was checking the message on my other phone. But anyways, yeah, no lag whatsoever. Haven't experienced any problems like that. Um, some uh, battery life. Let's talk about battery life. The battery life is pretty much the same as it was before. I haven't noticed any, like, changes. Like, you know, when you, up, when you update to a new version of Android, like a completely revamped um, version of Android, uh, there's always that issue of battery and, and stuff like that as you apply the new update. I haven't, I haven't seen any difference in battery life on, on this device. I've been using it for a couple of days now running KitKat, and it's been phenomenal. Uh, I still get the same amount of battery. I can pretty much go almost two days on a single charge, and uh, I haven't noticed any shifting, any change. Nothing with the battery has changed whatsoever. And I think that's probably like one of the best things that I like about uh, the ZTE Max and the fact... Um, is that with, with the updates that's given to it, there's hardly any change at all whatsoever as far as the behavior of the device. You don't, you know, like some devices, when they update, they start to get lag. The battery life starts to suck. Um, certain applications just start acting buggy. I haven't experienced none of that with this update, and I don't know if I would consider myself a lucky person to not have, you know, if, if anyone else has. But, um, yeah, um, even with the, without the modifications that I have, because uh, right now my ZT Max is modified. I do, like I said, I have KitKat on it. It's rooted. It has custom recovery. But I also um, partitioned my SD card. I'm running link to SD. I have, I'd say, um, some of the more heavier apps pushed over to my EXT4 partition. So, But even before I did all that, when I just had just the apps downloaded, before I got the phone rooted, there was no lag whatsoever. There was no bugginess to it none of that stuff I had to deal with. So I think that's probably like one of the biggest reasons that, you know, this device actually um, gets high ratings from me is because when I had the HTC Desire 601, there was issues that came up after it, it updated in KitKat. And, you know, um, but other than that, yeah. So um, sound hasn't changed whatsoever. The sound quality is still the same. 
when you listen to stuff uh, through the speaker in the rear. The speaker's back here. Uh, turn that to see if I can get the light to catch it. There it goes. Uh, there's a speaker right there. And the sound quality is still the same. Nothing has changed. Nothing has, has gotten uh, pretty much messed up. So that's something that I would want to say is, um, is a good thing. All in all, in general, I mean, uh, they could have done some better changes as far as, like, you know, bringing it up to their other devices that, you know, come with KitKat on it already, like the Warp Sync and the, and the ZTE Speed. I was going to say HCC. I don't know why. But uh, the ZTE Speed, which is a new device that was that just currently came out, like, they could have updated the, the you know, their little... Um, I guess skins for their applications or whatever they could have updated it to to mirror those um but i'm not really heavy on that but i know some people are some people are very nitpicky as far as how does it look and uh they want to see like some sort of physical changes that will help set their mind at ease that they got a good update i'm not one of those people but i know there are some out there and nothing wrong with that you know um but i think like you know with zte they they should have done that with this update and um yeah with you know with the icons and whatnot but uh you know that's that's kind of like the downer side of it i guess you can say you can call that a fail but also in, in the same context of it um its personality its behavior has not changed and that would be the good part of it the thumbs up you know if if you had the zt max all you know all last year and you love the way the, the phone performed you're not going to have any issues with uh, this update whatsoever. It's gonna perform exactly the same way um, unless you decide not to root your device. The only thing that you're gonna lose is not really ZTE's fault, but um, Android in general with uh, KitKat is the ability to um, have the permissions to write to the external SD card. Uh, you will lose that. So um, I did a video about how I rooted the ZTE Max on KitKat and it's, again, I'm gonna, um, Put this out there but it's uh not for the beginners to to try unless you are um consider i guess you can consider yourself tech savvy enough to understand everything that i was doing with virtual box and you feel confident enough that you can navigate through it and if you run into any technical issues you you know how to kind of like rely on yourself to solve it then yeah definitely go for it but if you don't have that confidence in yourself i would definitely not recommend doing it because you could seriously mess your device up and if it's the only device that you have boost mobile is not like virgin mobile where they will outright send you a replacement even for 25 bucks they won't even do that they'll just refer you to the warranty services of that manufacturer and i don't know how zte's company handles um, warranty replacements or things like that. I know right now I'm not particularly ha happy with Kyocera because I still haven't got my Hydro Icon back and I'm super pissed off about that because it's damn near like almost February and uh, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm not happy with them at all. But moving on from that, so yeah, um, I figure, let's see. That's pretty much all I can really say about the ZTE Max and its update to KitKat. Um, oh, well, let me just toss in a few things here because some people might ask questions about this, but um, how much internal storage has changed? Uh, from what I noticed, none. It is uh, still the same. And the only reason I say this is because um, when uh, was it? I had the, the Galaxy S2, uh, when that updated from Ice Cream Sandwich to Jelly Bean, you know the uh, internal storage changed it went from having so much to just having a little bit less than what i had before and so people are kind of worried about that and i just want to let you guys know that the internal storage did not change whatsoever uh you didn't lose um any more internal stores than what you started out with outright buying the device when it came with a 4.1.2 jelly bean it's still the same so you have nothing to worry about there and uh let's see just to answer a couple of questions, if people think that this phone's going to get Lollipop, I doubt it. I mean, it took a whole year to get KitKat, even when they uh, announced that they had plans to do it in 2014. We're already in 2015, and the batches started coming out in December of 2014, so you, you really can't penalize them for saying that they didn't get it in 2014. They kind of did, but they did at the last second, like right there, December. They just started pushing it out. Um, 
I don't think that it's going to get lollipop, but I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong. Seriously, I hope that I'm dead wrong in that and that they actually do um, develop for lollipop for it because I really would want the ZTE Max to at least, at least for me, I want to get at least two or three years out of it before I'm thinking of having to look for another device. So, um, but anyways, that's it for the show. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this live broadcast. And um, also for you guys on SoundCloud uh, listening to this audiobook right now, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll be having more of these up on SoundCloud and on YouTube as well. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I guess, you know, if you guys like the, this video, go to give it a thumbs up because it helps me out, you know, or like if you, you know, if you're on SoundCloud. And uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. Uh, any more questions you guys would like to ask me about the ZTE Max for Boost Mobile, I um, please do so in the comments section, or you guys can hit me up on Hangouts and just ask me there. Um, I'll be doing one more video for the ZTE Max sometime in the future if there is any questions that I didn't touch base on in this video. But if not, then consider this one pretty much closed out. And... Uh, reviews done for it so thank you guys for watching and tuning in i will see you guys next time you guys are great thank you to all the new subscribers and uh yeah stick around for february's giveaway i will do that on the live broadcast next week